Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade and install more RAM on your PC. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So I currently have two of four slots of available memory on my PC, and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it with 16 gigabytes of memory. Now this is gonna double my PC's memory from 16 gigabytes to 32. Now one thing you need to be aware about when you're buying more memory is, it's only gonna to default to the slowest speeds for the memory. So if you are buying something a little bit faster than what's currently in your PC, it's only gonna to default to the slower speeds that you have installed already. And when buying RAM that is kind of different speeds than the one you currently have installed, you can have compatibility issues that might cause some problems with your PC operating. So I strongly suggest trying to buy the same RAM that you already have installed or removing your old RAM and just completely installing new RAM that is faster. So it's very easy to check to see what kind of RAM you already have installed in your PC. You can either open it up, otherwise there is some software on your PC that you can go ahead and download and check. Otherwise go to system information in the search bar on your PC. And under there you can check to see what kind of motherboard you have. And you can see what kind of recommendations your motherboard has for RAM. So let's go over to my PC real quick and just check out how to see what kind of RAM I have and the motherboard I have. So to find out exactly what you need for your computer in terms of RAM, you can go to this website, userbenchmarks.com slash software and download the free software right here. Then after it runs the test, it's going to open up this webpage and it's going to tell you information about your CPU, your GPU, your hard drives, and then finally your memory kit. This is the ADATA DDR4 3000 2 times 8 gigabytes that's in my computer right now. And I have two slots out of four in use. So I'm going to copy over this information and I'm going to buy something online exactly what fits these specifications. Then to find out what kind of baseboard or motherboard you have on your PC, go down to the search icon or the search little bar on your Windows 10 computer and type in system information down here. And it's going to auto populate once you type it in enough. So this is an application called system information. Let's select this. And when you press enter, it's going to bring up this window. Now on the left hand side, if we go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, it says baseboard product right here. And this is going to be our motherboard. So type this exactly into a search bar, bring it up and you'll be able to find out what kind of motherboard you have in your PC. So on amazon.com, I went ahead and purchased similar RAM and this was only $56 for 16 gigabytes. I have two eight gigabyte sticks. When you're taking it out of the packaging, sometimes the manufacturer likes to put plastic over like their labels and their name. So just be aware about that. <clears throat> you're gonna wanna take that off before you go ahead and install it actually. Now, if you are installing RAM for the first time, check to see your motherboard's um, specifications, but typically you wanna put them offset like this. So you'll have one installed, then there will be a space, then another one will be installed and then another space. So let's go ahead and remove these from the plastic. And is there any plastic on the labeling here? Doesn't seem to be like there is. Try to avoid touching any of the gold fingers and just pick it up by the metal part. There doesn't seem to be any plastic on the back either. And if you are having difficulty installing your RAM, there is a little notch right here that you're gonna to wanna to line up on your motherboard. And it may not fit exactly right if it's not aligned. And it looks like it's gonna go in like this, so. And there's little clips on your motherboard that you're gonna press outward. And sometimes they have them on each side and sometimes they don't. So if you are trying to press it and it's not moving, one side may not actually move out. So be aware about that. So I have them both outward and I'm gonna insert my RAM. So I'm gonna put one side in first, and then the other. Okay, so I have it over the clipping right now. So I'm gonna press down with my thumbs uh, on one side first, and then the other side. Not exactly at the same time. So one side's in, the other side's in. All right, it seems like it's snug in there. I'm gonna do the clipping on this side. Clipping on the other side. Okay, I heard a little snap there. 
the side still needs to be pressed in a little bit. There we go, it's snapped in. So that RAM is snug on the motherboard now. Let's go ahead and do the next one here. So just align it with the clippings, press it down snugly, one side and then the other side. And you should hear like a small click when it actually is seated correctly. So let's go ahead and do the side. And there's not a lot of room to move with this um, fan over my CPU. So it takes a little bit of maneuvering and good lighting. So that seems like it's seated. The clips are out. I'm gonna press down on one side first. Then the other side. Heard the clip. Let's do the other side now. Heard the clip there. That one went in pretty quick. So my clips are all snug and my RAM is installed on my PC now. Now, the only thing to do is start up my PC and make sure they are actually working and installed correctly. So let's go ahead and do that now and jump back over to my computer. So a easy way to see your memory in the real time usage is by going back to the search icon in the bottom left hand side of the screen, selecting that, then typing in task manager and selecting the application and then opening this up, make this full screen, go over to performances, down to memory. And under here, you can see your available memory right now. I have 25 gigabytes free and there's 6.3 in use and I can see slot four of four. So my memory is seated and installed correctly on my PC and everything is working fine. And this is kind of nice because you can see your usage of the memory in real time. So installing RAM on your PC is very easy. Just make sure you look up your motherboard and the specifications around that and how you should insert your RAM. Sometimes you want them in slot one and three, and very rarely you're gonna to wanna to insert into the slot two and four. Now, then you wanna find information about your RAM, the speed of it, and find something similar online so you don't have compatibility issues. Now, you don't need to get the exact same one, just get something that has very similar specifications and maybe by the same manufacturer as well. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.